This video is sponsored by AppMaker. Welcome back to another video of Educate WordPress. On this channel, we talk everything about WordPress. And today, we're going to see how we can add pop-ups using Elementor Pro. Let's get started. For this, you're going to need Elementor Pro. Head over to the link in the description to go to the Elementor Pro website. Choose the plan according to your need and click on buy now. After completing the purchase, they will give you a zip file. Then go to your dashboard, go to plugins, add new. Click on upload plugin and choose the downloaded zip file and click on install now now while this installs let's talk a bit about our sponsor this video is sponsored by AppMaker AppMaker is a WordPress plugin that converts WooCommerce websites to mobile apps the mobile app builder helps you create native Android and iOS applications Get 30% off by being first 200 sign up. Get the link in the description. Now we're back and as you can see, Elementor Pro has been activated. Let's start creating our pop-up. Just go to templates and you'll see an option called pop-ups. Click on add new. And name your pop-up. Click on create template. And as you can see, there are a bunch of pop-ups that Elementor provides for free. If you want to choose any of them, there are a lot of them. Or you can start from scratch like me. To adjust the size and styling of the pop-up window, just go to settings, click here and you will see the pop-up settings. Click on viewport, this is PW and choose about 90% and height will be either this or custom you can choose the content position as well or the position of the window like this but I'm going to keep everything at center if we want to add an overlay make sure this is on or if you don't want to add an overlay, just uncheck this and you can see we're going to add entrance animation and exit animation you can also change the general settings such as title or status Let's head over to style. I can change the background. From here, either it will be gradient or a classic color. You can even add an image as a background. I'm going to add a border.
this will be my border and I can change the overlay settings as well and I can edit the close button as well if I want to increase the size I can do that and in the advanced section I'm going to automatically close the button after some amount of time in seconds but since it's a sign in pop-up I'm not going to do that I'm going to show the button after 10 seconds if you want to prevent the pop-up from closing on by clicking on overlay or esc button just check mark these boxes and disable page scrolling by checking on this you can even add custom css if you have elementor pro now let's create our pop-up Let's add a text. Let's add some text color. Let's add a bit of margin at the top. Now let's add a form. Hey, I can edit my form. Let's change the style. Now this looks good. Let's click on publish. And we're going to add a condition. It will be either entire site or if you want to choose any singular website, you can choose it from here. I'm going to display it at front page. Then go to triggers. If you want it on page scroll, within 10 seconds, let's say, you can do that. Or if you want to add on scroll, you can do that as well. I'm going to add on on page load within 10 seconds. Let's go to advanced rules. And I'm going to add for hide. I'm going to hide the pop up for logged in users since they're already signed up. And if someone is not signed up, I'm going to show him up to two times on open or on close. Let's click on save and close.
let's have a look And as you can see, a pop-up has appeared. Now that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. Like if you find this video useful and subscribe. Thank you.